Hello everyone, it's your pal Droplus here and welcome to the demo of Unpacking. I have had this game on my radar for quite some time now. It is this delightful zen-like game about, you may have guessed it, Unpacking. So let's get right into it. I've played just a bit to see that it's all working fine and it seems to be. So this is 1997. We are in a child's bedroom, I'm guessing. I'm, I say guessing, I know. That's what I know. <laughs> I know that for a fact. We can open and close our cupboard drawers. Now let's open a box and see what we have. So we have a book. Listen to that book as we plop it down. It appears to be perhaps a, uh, a Goldilocks book. You know, we have a bear and a gold background. That's great. We have a delightfully cheery frog right there. Let's put this fellow in a little cranny there. We have a My Little Pony figurine and maybe some super heroine, you know. And an absolutely awesome rhino guy. I love him to bits. What else? We've got another pony figure. So those two can be together there. We have a sort of Hello Kitty-esque plushy she can go in another one of those little slots we have a troll figurine now there was a reboot of trolls this year i believe actually it came out on digital during covid but i remember the original troll figures with the curly those like curly that straight vibrant colored hair that goes all the way up you yeah. know so it's interesting it's a reboot i'm not you know, a fan of the uh, reboot. They've really gone the uh, children sales route. So anyway, we've got another figure. I'm not sure what that. I believe if we uh, zoom in here, is definitely a Tamagotchi. Um, anyone who grew up with Tamagotchis will remember how you'd get sort of your parents possibly to take care of them while you went to school because most schools ended up banning them because they required constant care so there was such a big distraction and obviously if you couldn't look after them they would die and then you know it was such it was like traumatizing for some kids understandably so like this was your digital pet so parents had to deal with that we have a uh, perhaps a dr seuss book maybe a cat in the hat that's what that looks to be Let's put start putting these books on a shelf. Uh, we've got another book, a, uh, an elephant there. Maybe it's uh, a Dumbo book as such. But I'm pretty sure that they, Dumbo was only the films. I'm not sure if it was based on a book. That is 100% Peter Pan. We can see PP, he's flying across the moon. That's Peter Pan for sure. And we can fold up that box with a nice pop there. Just the sound of the folding cardboard and the rustle of paper. So we've got a nice football there that can hop there on the floor. And we got a really cool rucksack, or if you're in the UK, backpack. Uh, I say rucksack just because I'm so used to Americanisms, but no, this is a backpack, 100%. Um, I really love the design, sort of the crescent moon, that gold on the purple. It's almost quite witchy in this way. Got a trophy for football so we're probably an avid footballer uh, I cannot relate I am terrible at football I've never really gotten into it, the sport either playing or watching which is like a sacrilege if you're British so you know I, I'm a failure disgrace to my country uh, we have a ruler put like that and we have that sort of pot with pencils and brushes we have a lovely little diary, so we'll just put that there. It's got a nice little heart-shaped lock, because we don't want anyone to look into it. I remember kids' diaries, that ridiculously overpriced, cheap-made things you'd get in the shop. Um, and all the locks were the same, so if you bought enough one, you could use that key on any of those locks. So if you ever wanted to read someone else's diary, it was very easy. Got a notepad and a delightful picture of a horse. Perhaps we've done that ourselves. We have like Crayola pen, like Crayola um, crayons, 
God, not pens. You know, we have our pencils, we've got the brush, we've got notepad, we've got that pig drawing. So perhaps that's connected. Um, let's just put that skipping rope down there. Oh, listen to that piggy bank, all our, all our change, all our savings. Pop that there. I forget what these are called, but they're kind of the, um, they're like boppets, but they were the uh, pattern memory games where you just sort of have to keep up with the coloured patterns. Uh, we've got a spinning top. Looks to be a game of checkers. Pop that in there. Game of procedure, which is definitely not operation for copyright reasons. Definitely not um, operation where you pull out all the uh, the bones and the butterfly and the apple from the body and you try not to touch the metal sides to complete the circuit and if you did it buzz and you'd lose a point. Uh, let's pop that over there. Fold up that box. What else have we got in here? We have another book. I'm going to guess that's um, Rapunzel by the long golden hair. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely Rapunzel. Put that with Peter Pan. It looks like they're part of the series. They've both got the gold sort of spines. Uh, we've got some scissors. And let's actually put our diary away. We don't want anyone reading this while we're gone. So we're going to tuck in that drawer there. Possibly with the scissors as well. And we've got an eraser. I think that will fit perfectly there as well. And look at this. This is like a... Uh, a cooler version of Spyro. <laughs> no, uh, I love this thing. Look at it. It's got these lovely amber eyes. It's lovely wings. It just that looks to be an expensive plushie. That probably cost over fifty quid at least. So we'll put that on top of the bed. Um, put that like this, and the pig can go over here like that. This is a poster, so let's put that against the wall there. You can sort of hear faintly ambient background noises, sort of like birds chirping through the window there because it's on the garden, which I think is a really nice touch. This looks to be Dracula. Um, you know, it sort of it contrasts a lot with, say, Goldilocks, and then you're just like, oh yeah, and Dracula. That's, you know, the mixture of books that children will have. We have a rocket ship, so let's put that there. That is a traditional Game Boy. Um, yeah, for sure. I never had a traditional Game Boy. I had a Game Boy Micro, which was the last variant. You had like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and then I think there might have been another form of, like there's two forms of Game Boy Advance, one with the flip screen. And then it's the Game Boy Micro, which was advertised so poorly that they stopped making Game Boys because of it. But I got one. You know, my dad bought me and my sister one for Christmas one year. So I still have that about. We have a fantastic Polaroid camera. I'll put that on the shelf. I recently, like a year or so ago, bought a second-hand Polaroid camera because it's just have to have one, I think. It's such a such a classic town. That looks to be, say, a pirate book. We've got a sea monster Kraken and a, a pirate ship. Perhaps it's maybe like a Moby Disc esque book. We'll put that over there on the right of the fairy tales. That could possibly be a book, maybe Grim Fairy Tale or something like that. It's a sort of a trick. It could be anything to be fair, but that is how I'm imagining it. We have a flashlight, let's tuck that away in there. And we have maybe a junk, a safari book of some description. We can pop that there. Yeah. And awesome, look at this. We got a lovely red double decker bus. So we can pop that down and that will be lovely. And we have our sort of our stereo there. And we have a thing of tapes. So we'll just pop those there for a second and figure out where we're going to put everything. So let's put the crowns away. Um, and then down here, we will start tucking things about. So we can put 
our skipping rope. Uh, possibly, let's put that there as well. Our cassettes can go there as well. We're not done just yet, but I think it's just saying that everything can be accepted in these locations. But we've got a lot of uh, space hanging about, so I want to sort of make the use of it. Hmm. Um, let's put the My Little Pony toys away because I'm not a fan of My Little Pony. I think it's a bit, um, you know, it's to each their own, but it's not for me. <laughs> hmm. And let's put the spinning top away somewhere as well. Could the spinning top and say the uh, not the tr maybe actually the Rubik's cubes can stay up there. The troll can go underneath. And let's put this there because it fits nicely. We can just sort of arrange things up here. A bit neat, neater. Put the double deck bus just tucked there. Tamagotchi. Can we have that on the bed? No, we can't. That can go with the Game Boy on the desk like this, because we're, we're playing them constantly. We're probably addicted to them. We could put our figurines on the windowsill. And yeah, I would say that's done it for this room. So let us uh, move on. So seven years later, 2004, and we have the classic PC monitor, the big chunky lad there, which we can tuck away. But more importantly, we have the old and the wonderful blue cloth office chair. Look at that thing. That used to be in every home, every office in you know America, in the US, like well, US is America, in the UK, you know, in Europe, it was the go-to and you can still buy them but they've kind of because they're so iconic they're not as cheap as they once were but yeah oh I, this is so many memories i used to just play tons of the classic piece of games and look at that chunky tower which was just gonna slide to the back there um put that there okay so we have some clothes but yeah like this that was my childhood um i spent up an old pc and just playing old PC games, so it's a bit like a massive surge of nostalgia to see it. Um, how many shirts we have? Let's just get them out before we start putting them up. Look at our, our new room. You know, we've got a nice adult bed, we've got a couple shelf units. It's much nicer than my own room to be fair, I'm a bit jealous. Uh, we've got a proper blackout blind, I've got like these terrible curtains. <laughs> uh, we've got a sort of a main road there. You can see where someone's painted it over. There's some like cracks in the wall there, so you know it's been used. Look at that classic curio bag or messenger bag, uh, whichever way you called it. I love this form of bag. It is my absolute favourite. I use um, backpacks now more often because I've got a bit of a bum shoulder, so it's a bit bad to put all the weight on one shoulder, even though it's slung across the back to help even it out. But no, I love a uh, carry a curio bag, not carry bag. That is a little MP3 player. I think it's meant to resemble the classic iPod. And look at that classic flannel shirt. I love a flannel shirt. It's you know it's a go-to. This is a nice shirt too. It looks like um, honestly, it kind of reminds me of Marshall Lee. <laughs> um, you know, with the from the Adventure Time gender bent episodes so instead of Marston it was Marshall Lee and that's what he kind of looked like he had the flannel shirt you know the red eyes black hair we got our piggy bank which is good uh, a mermaid actually no not mermaid koi fish that's like coloured koi fish we've kept some of our toys we've got some more jeans uh, we've kept our football let's put it in the corner there and this looks to be like an old chunky sketchbook. I hate these kind of ones though, because they've got really thick spines, like the corded uh, metal spines. They kind of get in the way because I'm left handed. So, and you know, because I've grown up in the Western world, so I'm traditionally used to going left to right. And so if I do that, I can't because the spines in the way. So I have to actually reverse them and draw right to left and right, right to left. 
in terms of page format so it's a bit disorientating got a lovely uh, lovely sort of cat picture there let's put that there and close that up and let's put these t-shirts away uh, we've got a cool book there what is that maybe that looks to be like a knight and a cape you know so could be a novel could just be like a normal history book that looks to be like a book on geography that's a uh, very boring and dull that's much cool that's a big chunky fantasy novel it's got a dragon we can see it's a cool green environment uh this is a toothbrush and we have some more room so we can go to the bathroom and put that there and that'll be lovely and toothpaste can go here as well so we'll just put those there for a moment and we've kept we've kept the old piggy gotta keep piggy there uh I'm gonna assume those look to be uh, just some pack of markers, like dry white markers. And good lord, what on earth is this? This is classic 2004 Deviant Art art. A uh, bit of a first sona going on. Perhaps it's a uh, fan art, you know, either or. You know, looks to be digital. So perhaps this is when, at the dawn of the sort of digital tablet era where they were still ridiculously expensive they still are ridiculously expensive but they were just coming into play and more sort of kids who were growing up with them versus traditional art so it was really cool it was a fun period to grow up in hmm we've got one of those um posable figures and we can change the pose or we can be reflecting you know the sort of uh oh it's it's not Atlas, it's not like Atlas like holding up the world, but it's the other really famous one where he's sort of posing and he's sort of in deep, you know, reflection like this. And <laughs> we've got a dab. We're, we're obviously, we're going to have to have the dab, that can go right there. Then maybe a bit more to the right so we can see it. And look at that, that is a uh, classic artist's learning to draw book. You know, you, you've got to have one of those, so... We'll pop that over there. Uh, a book on anatomy. Definitely. More jeans. Got to have a few pairs of jeans. Um, I don't. I have like two pairs of jeans and I wear them to death. And I probably will for the next 20 years until they have half a dozen holes. And are so faded it looks like I am wearing whitewashed jeans. Uh, we've got a bra. Put the bra away. Tuck them in a drawer there we've got another big chunky book possibly another fantasy maybe it's something like harry potter it's hard to tell but it's no flashy cover it's all writing but it's a nice colored book so i'm gonna assume fancy we have a poster three miles home let's cover up that uh that faded bit of wall right there the faded paint uh out there so i'm gonna assume that's just like a musical poster Got down my tea before it gets too cold. Oh, mm. oh yeah, and isn't that lovely? The sound of me downing my tea, and let me just tuck that mug behind my monitor there. Perfect. We've kept our Game Boy good. You know, I would be extremely disappointed in us if we got rid of it. And we've kept our Hello Kitty figure, so she can. Look, she's using the computer. She can hover there for the moment. Uh, that's definitely a DVD case, and that is for sure 100% Donnie Darko. Because it is early 2004, and Donnie Darko was the film for that period. And it is classic. And was that outside, or was that more ambient noise in game? Because look, we are by a road. So we're hearing cars going past and motorbikes going past. And that's really cool. It really draws you in. Kept our eraser. We haven't used it in you know the entire seven years. It's the exact same eraser. Yeah. Got a portfolio. We can tuck that say in the corner there. Uh, we've got some socks. So let's close that and see where our socks are going to go. All in this drawer. Um, yeah, let's just slap them in there. 
<laughs> I've got a Rubik's Cube. Can we put that in there? We can put the Rubik's Cube in the drawer. We're not going to, but we could fit that in there. Let's just put it on the shelf up here for the moment. Um, socks, socks, socks. Look at that. That is clearly um, Curious George. For sure, that's a fan art of Curious George. Uh, we've got more socks. We've got some matching pairs. And let's collapse that. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to put the DVD, so let's just put them there for the moment. Uh, and look, now our actual our pot of pencils and brush has, has changed. Now we've got a few pens in there. And that black one may just be a black pen, but I'm going to imagine it's like a digital stylish. stylish and we have a drawing tablet. Because these look... I know it's all a, it's a Pixar art game, so I can't really tell. It could These could be representing traditional art, but they seem to be in the style of digital art. Which would be cool, you know. Um, anyway, let's put that down there. We have our calendar. And we have a classic. We have our lovely um, CD player, which is 100% sure. I, yeah radio play as well so these came about um, a lot of them would also have cassette players I have one still um, on my mum have one to be exact but I use it quite often where it's a radio player CD player on top and then at the front it's a cassette tape player because they came out when cassettes were still a thing and they were still like quite popular and they were that, okay, that's that's not the game, that is outside. It's still quite popular. Because they were cheaper than CDs in some instances. But CDs were growing in popularity, so you had to have a CD player. And radio was still quite a big thing. People liked listening to the radio a lot. And so it was all kind of combined. Now people still listen to the radio a fair bit, but no longer sort of dedicated radio play players. It's most often um, on your computer, or on your phone, or when you're out and about driving. We've got a, another DVD that's possibly Dracula, maybe like the early Van Helsing, or it could be Edward Scissorhand, Scissorhands. That, I can't tell. That is 100%. That's Ghost World right there. You can... There's no two girls alike in the world who look like that. That is definitely Ghost World. That is my head cannon. Uh, we've got another poster. Possibly like a boy band of some description there. Some more jeans. Our computer mouse. And that I'm going to guess is our mouse pad. Yeah, so let's let's clear up our desk a bit. And put the mouse pad here. Um, these could be um, some CDs, like a CD rack, to be fair. Can put that up there with this. Can we fit any of these next to it? Is there any room? No, unfortunately not. Got a sneaker. Put that in there. Got some more coloured pencils. Our second sneaker and our boots. Let's move this around a bit so the boots can go here because they're slightly taller. It just sort of appeals to the OCD inside of me. A zip up hoodie let's put that there and this appears to be our alarm clock so let's put that to the back there got another cool shirt so that can go on the pile yeah and yeah got a nice pile of shirts we kept the double decker bus because of course you would you know you've got to keep the double decker bus and then we can keep the uh Rubik's Cube behind it so they can sort of tuck there. We've possibly been to to Paris. You know, we've had a trip to Paris in time. I've been to Paris, it's quite it's quite nice. Um I went there on a school trip ages ago in uh, my six form years. So anyway, we've got a nice little Eiffel Tower model. Got some more clothes, maybe some pajamas. Yeah, definitely pajamas because those are the pajama bottoms. Uh, do we have more pajamas? Yep. Okay, we've got a couple sets of pajamas. We got some more socks. 
And that's our sock drawer there filled up, so let's put that away. And toilet paper. Right. You know, it slipped into the bedroom box. And maybe that book is dancing, possibly. You know, it could be something like that. There's all our books. Can we slot the DVDs in here as well? We can. Okay, perfect. And that's that box done. So let's, before, you know, sorting out these little bits, let's just see what the bathroom has in store for us. So we have a hand towel and some soap and a mug. And I think that's like roll on after after shave, so rolled on deodorant, some fragrance, a brush, um, conditioner, shampoo, We've got a first aid kit. I'll just tuck that behind there. There's our other bra. Alright, uh, let's see. Some sanitary products, some more toilet paper, more toilet paper, a bigger towel. We can hang that up there, I reckon that'll be a nice spot for it. More sanitary products, that's fine. A frying pan. Just put that there for the moment. More toilet paper, we've come prepared. You know, we've we've stocked up for the lockdown. The 2004 COVID lockdown. Good lord. Um, yes, let's put the toilet paper away underneath. And... Not that there's anything to be ashamed of with sanitary products, but let's just tuck them away for neat and tidiness. Uh, we can put the two brushing things in our order there, soap there, brush there, and then our fragrance and things there. So that's that. Lovely. And let's do the kitchen. So, oh, I'm running out of time. I should, uh, I spent so long talking about things. Oh, I have to finish though. That actually doesn't have a handle so what I'm going to do is put these there put that there and then use this as a regular mug because while I love the fact of having a toothbrush and toothpaste in a smiley face mug let's put it over there for safekeeping let's put our espresso cup there we've got some kitchen roll that I can just tuck there somewhere Got some sugar, big thing of salt, got a small plate, got a few small plates, those like sort of little teacup plates, um, a glass, a cookie jar, which has to go at the very top, you know, it's just, it's the law, got a thing of coffee, need to have coffee, you know, again, just having coffee is the law, <laughs> tea and coffee in the house, you have to have it. Uh, we've got a pack of sponges, a spatula, more plates, uh, some blue, white, we've got a bowl, we've got a few bowls, and spoons, not there, do we have like a little holder for our cutlery? Yes, we do, so let's put that on the right, ah, the keyboard, perfect, so keyboard, let me move the mp3 player out of the way, go here it's looking good mp3 player can go actually let's do some organization so that can go there or maybe not all our clothes can go like this this can go up there um, you can go there you can go in here. All our little art bits, ones that don't take up too much space, can be tucked underneath here. And then we can have, say, the MP3 player and the Game Boy under there. And then sort of this can stay there. And if anything's wrong, we've got a few areas we can shuffle things about. Um, Got another plate, another bowl, got a nice set, another glass. That's like a proper Coca-Cola glass there. 
big uh, here's Johnny. So no, not here's Johnny. Not um, I was like, here's Johnny's the axe. Um, no, the Alfred Hitchcock psycho knife. <laughs> that <laughs> that knife. Oh god, just looked at the camera there. It's just absolutely terrifying. We've got a toaster, wooden spoon, um, can opener, an open sponge, which, which can go there. Got to have the kettle. And there's our other boot, so we'll tuck that boot there. Um, that's like a dish rag. That's potato peeler, or just a peeler. You can use it on anything, really. Okay, so forks on the left, knife's center. Little spoons below and big spoons on the right. See, there's organization. Let's start putting these in this drawer here. I'm not sure if we have anything else to tuck in there. We have actually. Um, let's close that. This is arguably much prettier. So let's see if we can tuck this away. Yes, we can. So we've got a spare tea towel under there. The brighter one, the more vibrant one out. Olive oil can go up there next to the salt. Dish soap can go next to the taps. That could be more dish soap or it could be some chemical cleaner. So yeah, so let's put all the chemicals under the sink. Um, that is a proper sandwich toaster. That can go here. Uh, cutting board. Let's just move things around for a second. So cutting board has to go here. Sure. Kettle has to go there. And let's go toaster there. Uh, we've got a pot. And we've got a big pot. We've got... Uh, let's put these underneath there. Got some bags. And we'll close that up. So, where to put things? What's going to look best for us? So we can put a frying pan there. And let's put these pots, say, underneath like that. Alright, I think that looks quite good for the kitchen. Uh, and let's see what we've got wrong in the bedroom. Just our kitty, who needs to go up here. I've got to guess. And let's move you forward. And I believe that will probably be the demo. I doubt we're going to get any more than four rooms. It is just a demo. But let's just see. Okay, so that is it. That was the unpacking demo. Um, I am very much looking forward to the full release in 2021. I pray that it comes sooner, but I will not rush them. It has to be perfect, which it doesn't have to be no game perfect. It feels perfect though already, so I would not want them to rush it out just for me, <laughs> which they would never do. I'm rambling. I had a really fun time playing this. Um, it's very cute. The art style is absolutely adorable. And just this nostalgia rush from this game is so peaceful. It's so it is such a Zen game. Um, they were sort of saying I was looking on the Twitter that it's quite an ASMR game, and I get that because all the sound effects they've done, they've got a really good uh, focal range for for the sounds, like especially like the things like the piggy bank just sort of moving about. You can hear the money and everything sort of on the different surfaces where it lands and then you've got the background ambient noise it all works together like to form such a nice experience anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and a comment below it really helps me out and if you want to see more of my content and my uh face with my <laughs> ignore that of me please subscribe i hope to see you all in the next episode take care now bye bye